In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create this really pretty effect using Kibo paints on ceramics. So stick around, that's coming up next. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Art with Jane Monteith. This week I'm taking a bit of a detour from my usual alcohol ink and resin based projects and instead I'm going to be sharing with you uh, paints uh, from Peebo, a new line of paints that I received recently and they have a number of different uh, varieties of uh, products but this week I'm going to be talking to the ceramic line this is a very high gloss durable very very nice finish uh, style of paint and I'm going to be painting obviously on these plates and a little vase and I'm going to be sharing with you that process so let's start with this and I'll share with you all the things that you need in order to create this look for this week's project all right the items that you'll need this week uh, very few, you don't need many at all. You just need your uh, ceramic products that you'd like to paint on. So I've just picked up a couple of plates. I actually got these at HomeSense. These were $2 a piece. Uh, but you can go to Dollar Store, even Walmart, which is actually where I purchased this one from. So I'm gonna be doing a little vase and then some uh, decorative plates. Now the paints that I'm using today are by Peebo and this is from their ceramic line. And these are an alkyd oil based uh, paint. They're very, very glossy and opaque. Uh, so they're ready to use. You can even mix these with other uh, Peebo uh, mixed media paints. Um, but you don't shake these, you just mix these with uh, a, a stir stick and you're ready to go. Now, these products, as I mentioned, obviously I'm going to be painting on ceramic. They do have two other lines that you can paint on with glass. Uh, and ceramic and again, and again mixed media. So the other one that you can uh, take a look at using is uh, this one here called, and I'm probably pronouncing this incorrectly, but vitrail or vitrail, however you'd like to pronounce it. I'm probably even pronouncing Pibo wrong. It's probably Pibo in French, but um, these are the other line. And again, you can use these on glass and ceramic, uh, all kinds of different things. The other one that I wanted to mention because I know I'm going to get questions about um, is this food safe? Uh, the one that you can purchase that I don't have with me, but I'm going to leave all of the information down in the description box below for all of these products by Peebo. Uh, but the last one that I want to mention is Porcelain 150. That is the product that you uh, should use if you want to uh, eat uh, or drink from. So to make it food safe, it's actually a product that you can paint on, just like I'm going to use these today, but you bake it in the oven at 300 degrees for 30 minutes, and then it becomes dishwasher safe, and you can then use it to uh, eat or drink from. Okay, so Porcelain 150 is the line that you need in order to uh, be able to eat off of the plates and put them in the dishwasher and that sort of thing. So the ceramic here, this one uh, is purely decorative. I'm not going to be using this for uh, food or anything like that. I even have a handy dandy uh, booklet from Apibo. So I have all of the information for each of these products that I'm talking about. I'll even leave a download link if you want to uh, grab those for yourself and just have them uh, for your own uh, projects, okay? Great, so let's start with the plates and I'll show you how I'm going to actually create my designs. So you either need paint brushes to paint on the ceramic paint, or what I like to use is a little, um, little bottle with these fine tips on the end. And these are great. They're very, very handy to have for detailed work. And as you can see here, I've just started, this was my first attempt using this particular uh, paint and it's very very easy to use and as you can see here it's high gloss and it doesn't scrape off or anything like that if you do want to apply a finish on this uh, even resin uh, you could do so you need to wait a week so seven days before you uh, put anything else onto these products but because these are decorative then i'm just going to leave them as is i don't need to put anything else on them so i'm just going to leave those off to the side but the way that i achieved this is by filling up one of these little uh, bottles here and again i will leave the link to my little shop below i have these on there these are actually um i can't think of the brand offhand i think these are the jacquard uh, brand tips uh, and the bottles so all you do is you just put the tip right on the top like so 
and then I'm gonna just pull off the lid here like this and then I'm going to pour my paint into my bottle. So just move that over to the side here. So with a steady hand, pour some in, go. When you're finished using this product, if you haven't used all of it in the bottle, I would highly recommend that you put it back into the original container. If you leave it there uh, over a couple of days, then this actually will dry. Uh, it won't stay um, in the liquid state. Let's put this back on. And just, uh, you can test off over to the side just so that you get the flow going. So you can see there, it's almost like cake decorating. It's uh, a very, very glossy, um, high, highly pigmented or highly saturated uh, oil-based paint. It's great. So I think I'm going to start with the, the uh, plate here. And I'm going to just get some inspiration for my pattern. So I'm going to bring a piece over. Uh, I'll show you where I'm getting this inspiration from. My inspiration today comes from an artist by the name of Nicole Pepper. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I do like to support other artists. I buy online from other artists. I think that's important to do that. And uh, her work is beautiful. It's a piece of art in itself. Her work is all handmade uh, ceramic ware. She uh, paints it in a very uh, beautiful blue and cream tones. And then she adds touches of gold. She even made this little spoon to go uh, to go with this little sugar bowl here. Very, very pretty. And of course she has uh, this one too. So please uh, check her out if you're big into ceramics like I am. On Instagram, her account is modhome.ceramics. And again, her name is Nicole Pepper. Uh, so feel free to check out all the inspiration online with her. Okay, I'm going to start on my plate here and just Go with the flow and see what happens. So you can see with the tip, you have quite a bit of control, which is really nice. Which is great, especially if you're, if you're working on angles. So when I uh, start on this, because it's on an angle, you don't want the, the paint to run, uh, which is another reason why I like this. It's, it's quite thick. So you can uh, really do some great designs and not worry about it bleeding uh, over everywhere onto your design. Now, let's say you're uh, painting away and you make a mistake and you think, oh no, I've just ruined my piece. Here's a little tip for you. Just take some paper towel, like so, and secret ingredient, goo gone. Just spray a little bit off to the side onto the paper towel and then you can just wipe away until it's gone. And then just make sure that you go back over it with a dry piece without any of the, the residue from the Gugon on there. And uh, then your plate will be nice and dry and clean and then you can continue on. So I think I will finish this plate and then I will move on to the vase. 
All right, I'll just put my plate over to the side over here and move on to the base. So this one will be a little bit more tricky because of the fact that I'm just dealing with constantly turning the vase and I'm sure I'll make lots of mistakes but I think I'll just try and keep it very simple because it's my first attempt on this so I tend to always want to try really, really difficult things. So I know I just have to take my time. This is how we're looking so far. And as I mentioned, because the paint is quite thick, you're able to turn it and not have to worry about anything running. Okay, I will finish up with these and then I'll come back and show you the finished versions. And here you go. Here are my finished pieces, nice and dry, and I think they turned out really nicely. This is obviously my vase and I'm just using this for palette knives or brushes. And of course my dishes that you can see here, they turned out nice and shiny. And uh, again, if you want to, uh, be able to use these for food and uh, be safe in the dishwasher, then please use the Porcelain 150 that I mentioned at the beginning of this video and all of the other paints that People offers for painting on ceramics and glass and metals and other substrates. Well, that's it today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found value, please give this video a thumbs up, like, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly art videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys again real soon.